All it takes is 3 days and 3 nights without sleep, and you'll get $100,000. Would you dare to participate in such an experiment? It sounds simple, but if you fall asleep in 3 days, and you don't wake up within 60 seconds, the heart will stop beating forever. Such a high-risk experiment. Mary, a female student, signed the consent form without even thinking about it. The professor implanted a chip in her neck. A chip was implanted in her neck. It turns out that a substance called curatropin is secreted when a person is awake, and this substance can cure brain death. It is very expensive. The watch that matches the chip, it shows the amount of curatropin extracted. If you get to 100, 100,000 is all it takes. And that's it. The sleeping experiment begins in earnest. On the first night, Mary studied straight through to 2 in the morning. This was no big deal for her, who often studied all night. When she looked down, she saw that curatison was already up to 40. The next day, her mental state. The next day, her spirits were not affected in the slightest. At this point, a boy came straight up to her and asked her if she had taken part in the sleeping experiment. Mary's heart tightened. At this point, she flashed the same watch, also taking part in the sleeping experiment. And there was Betty, the beauty blogger in the class, who suffers from severe insomnia. Tom, a gaming geek, who often plays games for days and nights on end. Jack, the boy across the hall, who was a nightclubbing prince. It seems that the people chosen for the experiment are all night people, so they left their contact details. The night was spent in their own, their own way of passing the time. The numbers on everyone's watches. The numbers on everyone's watches went up and up. On the morning of the third day, the all four had successfully completed their tasks. The professor kept his promise and gave each man 100,000 baht. With the money in hand, Mary paid off the rent first thing. Jack bought a fancy watch. Betty went to the beauty parlor, and Tom upgraded his gaming equipment. A few days later, having had a taste of it, the four of them came back to the lab and decided to take part in the second phase of the experiment. But this time the professor wanted to extract a higher concentration of protoxin, and they needed to stay awake for five whole days. Tempted by the huge prize, they are again implanted with the chip. At first, the first two days passed without incident. But on the third night, Tom accidentally fell asleep. Luckily, he only slept for a few seconds. By now, half the time had passed. But Curatispeed had only extracted 32%. And what's even worse is that they're already hallucinating. This college girl had not slept for three whole days because as soon as she fell asleep, she would die. But if she stays awake for five days in a row, she will win half a million dollars. Her name is Mary. She and three friends are taking part in a sleep experiment. Today is the fourth day of the experiment. Mary is in an anatomy class when, suddenly, she is surprised to see the body move a little. And Jack, who was playing basketball, heard his opponent swear at him, but the others say they didn't hear anything. They had been hallucinating. After class, the, the four of them, like walking corpses, they met in the canteen. It was then that Mary discovered that, that Jack was producing more curatison than ever everyone else. It turned out that Jack liked to play basketball. It seemed that if he kept exercising, curatostatin would grow faster. So, they went straight to the pool at Tom's house and party, drinking cold drinks and eating lemons, doing everything they could to stay awake, and their production of curatropin began to grow rapidly. It was at this point that Betty suddenly heard her own voice coming from the next room. The sound of her own voice, pushing the door open. Dozens of web pages were simultaneously playing a VLOG of herself. The walls were covered with pictures of herself being secretly photographed. It turns out that Tom has been secretly in love with Betty, but he didn't dare to confess. He had to stalk her every day. Betty fainted in shock. Her watch immediately starts counting down. If it takes more than a minute, she would never wake up again. Luckily, they were both medical students. After a series of emergency resuscitations, Betty finally woke up before the countdown was over. On the morning of the fifth day, the mission was finally over. The professor wants them to take part in the third phase of the experiment. But Betty, who had sensed the danger, refused. The four of them slept for days. It took them a few days to recover. One day, a crowd suddenly gathered in front of the school building. A student was carried out, and on his hand, he was wearing the lab watch. Mary felt a sense of horror. But just then, her grandmother had a stroke. She needs an operation. She was in debt and had no money at all. At this point, her sister pulls a large bag of money out of her purse. Mary feels badly about this. It turns out that her sister is also involved in the sleeping experiment. She immediately goes to the lab, but the doctor threatens her. If she doesn't get Jack and the others to join her in the third phase of the experiment, but the doctor threatens to never remove the chip from her sister's neck. But the third phase of the experiment requires 10 days of sleeplessness. Her university students were forcibly implanted with microchips. That would kill them as soon as they slept. But if they stay awake for 10 days, they will get a million dollars to stay awake. They found their teacher to help them. The teacher gave them a room. They were given a ward and an injection to boost their energy. And so, the third phase, the sleeping experiment began. On the first day, Mary concentrated on her studies to stay awake. Betty turned on the live feed. Everyone did their own favorite things to pass the time. With the teacher's refreshment, they made it to day six without any problems. But then the unexpected happens. Tom, who had been playing a game, suddenly a gunshot is heard outside the door in the toilet. 
Betty tries to refresh herself with cold water, but instead, he finds a pimple on the face he cares most about. Jack sees his deceased mother in a haze. Mary sees a pool of blood on the floor. His sister was lying on the floor, convulsing. Luckily, her sister pushed her from behind in time. It seems that everyone is starting to hallucinate. A devastated Betty starts to accuse Mary of dragging herself into the experiment. A raging Jack and Tom got into a fight. The room is instantly in chaos. Mary rushes to the teacher for help. As she passes a warehouse, the voices of Jack and Tom are heard from inside. Six cameras have been watching them. Mary has a flashback. The teacher had recommended them to take part in the experiment in the first place. Had she planned the whole experiment? She immediately tells Betty to call the police. But everyone's mobile phones had lost their signal. The door to the ward was locked. It seems they can't get out until they finish the experiment. On the seventh day, a frantic Betty smashes all the cameras. Jack falls head over heels on the floor. A minute later, teacher in the monitor room noticed that Jack's heart had stopped. She immediately took him out of the ward. But instead of resuscitating Jack, she removed the chip from his neck. Instead, she removed the chip from his neck. Just then, Jack suddenly woke up. She knocked her out with a stick. They were finally saved. It turned out that they had found in the ward a drug that could stop the heart. Then they broke the camera under false pretenses. They questioned the teacher as to why they had done this. The teacher slowly pulled back the curtain. Years ago her husband, who was researching insomnia, had not slept for 10 days in a row. He finally had a hallucination. He had jumped from the top floor, and the teacher accidentally discovered that a curatropin, which is released when a person is awake, was very effective in treating brain death. That's why he used his position to carry out the experiment in secret at the school. At this point, the story finally comes to an end. The teacher was taken away by the police, and the four men did not get the million dollar prize. But they did learn one thing. Never use your health as a bargaining chip.